On your right is the latest OLED panel with Meta technology from LG Display. On your left is last year's OLED panel with EX technology. And I am going to use a Konica Minota CA410 colorimeter to measure the peak brightness on both panels. First, let's start with last year's EX panel. And you can see that we are getting a peak brightness of around 1300 nits on a 3% window. Next, let's move the meter across to the new meter panel. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you, because we are measuring a peak brightness of more than 2100 nits, representing an increase of more than 60%. Note that these figures were obtained at the panel native white point of more than 9000 Kelvin. Since the Meta panel was just a pre-production sample with a rudimentary SOC slapped behind, hopefully you can see that the screen was merely propped up on some makeshift acrylic stand. Obviously, once OLED TVs featuring Meta panels hit the market, I will be measuring their peak brightness at D65 white point. But given the big jump in luminance at panel native white point, I'm expecting close to 1500 nits of peak brightness at an accurate color temperature. And the brightness increase was not only limited to a 3% window. All other window sizes looked and measured brighter than last year's EX Panel 2, injecting greater HDR impact to real-world content outside of test patterns. Lightning would flash across the night sky with more intensity to ultimately evoke a stronger emotional response. Specular highlights such as reflections would shine brighter, bringing us closer to what we see in real life. A full field of snow would actually look white, rather than having to be dimmed down to a lighter shade of grey due to more aggressive ABL or automatic brightness limiter circuitry on non meta panels. And this luminance boost would have a knock-on effect on colours too, making them appear more vibrant and punchy. In fact, the brightness increase from 1300 nits to 2100 nits at panel native white point represents the single biggest jump in one year from a large sized OLED screen. So how has LG Display achieved this? The answer is MLA or Micro Lens Array, named by the South Korean OLED panel maker as Meta Technology, where a layer of micrometer sized convex lenses is deposited on the OLED panel to extract higher light output from the screen. To explain, on a normal OLED panel without such technology, a not insignificant proportion of light would be lost through internal reflections within the panel, which is of course less efficient than desired. With MLA, billions of minuscule convex lenses are deposited on the OLED panel using ultra-precise patterning, effectively creating more than 5000 micro lenses per pixel on a 77-inch 4K display although smaller screen sizes will have less micro lenses per pixel due to lower pixel aperture ratio. These micro lenses have been designed in a specific shape to redirect light that's reflected internally back out towards the screen and eventually the user, drastically reducing light loss and enhancing viewable light output. The improved light scattering from MLA also leads to wider viewing angles, with less of axis brightness drop and color tinting compared to the EX panel first introduced in 2022. To clarify, all the core technologies found on the EX panel, such as the use of deuterium, as well as higher pixel aperture ratio afforded by the elimination of some metallic sensing lines, which in turn allows for personalized algorithms and narrower bezels, are still present on the new meta panel. Think of it like a frequent flyer program. At the silver level, you get to select your plane seats earlier. And at the gold level, you get airport lounge access, but also still get earlier seat selection. So in addition to all the goodness of EX technology, the next-gen Meta technology also delivers increased luminance and wider viewing angles thanks to the deposition of micro lens array. LG Display has actually gone one step further and implemented a Meta Booster algorithm that maximizes the peak brightness of different areas on screen by first analyzing the luminous data contained within the input video signal, then optimizing the power delivery to different parts of the panel. If EX panel previously received a 30% boost in full screen luminance compared to a conventional OLED panel without EX technology, 
than the combination of micro lens array and meta booster technologies in LG displays. Third generation meta panel should bring about a 60% jump in luminance. Again, we're talking full screen measurements over a conventional non EX panel. Now, certain quarters may frown upon the use of white subpixel boosting to achieve higher brightness. But the fact is that the vast majority of light sources in the real world have a white rather than a color base. If you look at sunlight, room lights, and specular reflections from other light sources, most of them fall on a spectrum of white of different color temperatures. So a WRGB OLED is certainly more than capable of depicting colors in the natural world in a realistic and accurate manner. And the next-gen metal panel will be the brightest WRGB OLED panel yet, bringing you one step closer to natural reality. To kick things off, the new metal panel will initially be available in these screen sizes this year, with more sizes on the way, and I expect various OLED television manufacturers to adopt it in their top-tier flagship OLED models in 2023. Although just like what happened with the EX panel, some brands may refrain from directly admitting to using metal panels in their OLEDs. Now, this video is primarily focused on the advantages brought forth by metal or MLA technology. But if you would like to learn more about the key technologies in EX, which are also present in the metal panel, please watch my coverage video by clicking here.